Welcome to BIMSYNC. This is the homepage of BIMSYNC, bimsync.com. BIMSYNC is a web-based model server, a web-based collaboration tool, and much, much more. But to try it, we enter this sign-up trial uh, URL, the one here, and then just add our credentials and name. I'm from Cotenda, which is the company who creates BIMSYNC. And now, when I click sign up for a 14 day trial, then without any pause, we are able to create a new project. So let's call this uh, super cool project we created. And then we are taken to the dashboard of this newly created project. Here we see a list of issues, a list of notification, a list of models, and a list of members. So far there is no content except that this project has one member, so let's do something with that. Let's add some models. Let's first create the architecture model. We add it. And then using uh, from the file system using drag and drop, we just uh, add it this way. Enter a short comment and submit. So now the architecture model is on its way up. We click new model again, and this time we want to add the structure model. We do the equivalent thing upload from the file system. So both of these IFC models are on the way up from your hard disk to BIMSYNC. And we see now that it's processing this latest model. And it's finished. So if we go to models, we see that the structure model is already finished. And here, the architecture model is also finished. Now we can click 3D and see it here in a web browser using 3D uh, graphics provided by WebGL. You can hide some of the controls. You can, for instance, click on this uh, structure model. So you see that one too. Very small change, but that is because the structure model is hidden inside the architecture model. So we click here. And then make translucent on the architect model. We see the other model inside it. We can click uh, show all to get back to where we were. If you click on a component, you get a little bit of information about uh, the content. Here you can add on any component, documents or links. You can navigate using this tree, selecting first or second story. You can use component and select all the doors. See here. I could also, clicking on this door, click uh, isolate. So I see all the doors in the model. Go back, click uh, show all. Uh, there is layer view and so on. You can also transform to move it in 3D space. Um, you have QTL, so if I click uh, to walls, uh, like this, uh, I get some information about uh, them both. Well, that was only one. <laughs> like this. So you, can, you use control on the keyboard to select more than one. So you see combined uh, properties on the bits. Let's go back to the dashboard. This is the page we are on, dashboard. We've been to models. Issues is a very powerful BCF-based uh, issue control system. And notice that in addition to full support for BCF, Vimsic also works as a BCF server. So using a plugin in Revit, you can uh, collaborate using that. Milestones uh, can be connected uh, with issues. We have libraries, both the pre-provided one and you can create your own, members and notifications. But also notice that we have this super powerful developer API. So that it's very simple to create enterprise applications 